best matchup of the four wildcard games this weekend is on Sunday, January 8th on Fox, as the New York Giants go to the Green Bay Packers. The Giants finished at 11 and five, which was tied with Atlanta for the second best record in the NFC. But because New York plays in the NFC East, they are a wildcard team as the Dallas Cowboys won the division. The Giants now have the unenviable task of going to Lambeau Field and facing the Green Bay Packers and the hottest quarterback in the NFL, Aaron Rodgers. The New York Giants went 11 and five straight up, nine and seven against the spread and four and 12 on the over under. The Giants feature the second ranked defense in the NFL, allowing just over 17 points per contest. New York realizes that they are facing the great Aaron Rodgers, but they are confident they can stop him. Linebacker Kelvin Shepard said, I believe we have the secondary to stop anyone, not just him. He's a tremendous player. I have the utmost respect for him, but I always feel like any week, not just this week, we can stop anyone. The Giants feature a secondary that has two pro bowlers, the very confident cornerback Janoris Jenkins and safety Landon Collins. New York scored just 19 points per game this season, so their defense needs to be great. The Giants have quarterback Eli Manning who has won two Super Bowls and has been great in the playoffs, but Manning has been very inconsistent in the regular season. The question is, which Eli will show up this Sunday? He has a great receiver in Odell Beckham Jr. to throw to, so the potential is there for Eli to have a big game on Sunday and lead New York to a road win. The Giants went 4-3-1 against the spread on the road this season, with seven of their eight road games going under the total. The Green Bay Packers come into this game at 10-6 straight up, 10-6 against the spread, and also 10-6 on the over-under. The Packers were 5-2-1 against the spread at home this season, with four games going over the total and four games going under. Taking a look at some betting statistics, the New York Giants are 3-1-1 against the spread in their last five meetings at Green Bay. The Giants are 9-0 against the spread in their last nine playoff road games. The Giants are 4-1 against the spread in their last five wildcard games. And the New York Giants are 5-2-1 against the spread in their last eight games versus the NFC. On the Packers' side, the Green Bay Packers are 4-0 against the spread in their last four wildcard games. The Packers are 4-1 against the spread in their last five home games. And the Packers are 4-1 against the spread in their last five versus the NFC. Taking a look at the over-under, the under is 7-1 in the Giants' last eight road games. The under is 5-1 in the Giants' last six playoff games. The over is 4-0 in the Packers' last four games overall. And the under is 10-4 in the Packers' last 14 games at home. The public is all over the Green Bay Packers in this game, while the sharp guys are taking the Giants. Normally, we would side with the wiser guys, but it is so hard to go against Aaron Rodgers at Lambeau Field. We do think that the Giants can slow down Green Bay, and we don't think much of New York's offense. So we'll play this game under the total of 44 and a half points.